My name is Jill Stevenson. Okay, so uh, tell me, you all like to know a little bit about your music, where your influences came from, uh, what's happening now? Well, um, I started singing in church when I was very young. My father and my mom and some other families started a small Baptist church in uh, Colorado, in Denver. My father is a singer-songwriter, though he works in news now. And my mom's a nurse, they're both musicians. My mom plays um, piano professionally. I was always singing, though, before I was even um, talking, really. And I would like set up, you know, animals in, as an audience and stand on top of a chair and just sing, like, with the sound of music and things like that. And my dad always, you know, told me that I had a really beautiful voice and he kind of, all along, they really nurtured my um, dreams and desires, which was music. I always loved music and performing, acting, all those kinds of things. And um, I started taking piano lessons when I was seven and I couldn't read music and I still can't. <laughs> but then, I mean, I kind of gave up the piano, but I still played by ear. And then I learned guitar when I was 13 and I just like totally got it right away. Like instantly I was able to kind of write songs and it came naturally. And my dad really taught me how to write a song, and taught me how to use an instrument and play chords. Um, just helped me to stand out, taught me about, I don't know, a lot of it came naturally. to be a musician and so I just kind of messed around in high school I mean I really just didn't care uh, and as soon as I graduated I just started pursuing my music full-time which was songwriting playing gigs singing comes easy that's something that has always been easy and even even playing the instruments is pretty you know it's not the hardest thing for me it was the the crafting of a song a really so good what song is, what is well, yeah, I mean, when I'm writing a song, at, uh, you know, really the, the music comes first. Like I hear something and come up with a melody line and then the words just kind of spill out. And then it becomes a piece of art, you know, because I don't, obviously, I want, you know, when I write a song, you want it to, you want the average listener to find meaning in it. And you also don't want the lyrics to, I wouldn't want the lyrics to be too specific to an experience I had because I want, the, the song can mean so many different things to everybody. Right. Um, but at the same time, there's depth. And that just comes from, I think, a universal truth about general things like love and hope and despair. Um, A lot of people li like my music because it's inspirational, because it, a lot of the songs talk about, I think even spiritually lately for me, I've been writing songs more about a, a vision, some, something that is there that uh, we all want and strive for and we're always feeling empty and um, really nothing, <laughs> nothing fills that void, you know. Sex sometimes does, alcohol, you know, food. Um, but in the end, there's just this, this thing that we're all kind of like working towards. Maybe it's happiness, maybe it's f feeling at one with God or something. So I think a lot of people like, like that kind of music. It gives them hope and gives me hope.
follow or pick up on or add to what you've yeah. got? I really, I started listening to Ani DeFranco when I was 18 and I was really into her for a long time. Like I have all her albums and I mean, I think she's great. Most, mostly for her lyrics. She, she is, she's just such a prolific writer with her words and she, she was speaking to me in terms of feminine independence and um, just general independence and feeling freedom within yourself, which is something that I uh, always am trying to work towards. Musically, I really love Sarah McLaughlin. She's a great, great songwriter and beautiful singer and instrumentalist. I, I like everything, honestly. Pop music, country, classical, uh, and all of it. All of it has meaning in that. Yeah. Don't, don't give up. My dad said something to me be recently because this is just not easy. It's not an easy business, and a lot of people I think get into it. I should certainly did. I've, Lord knows, I've been through. Oh my God, so much. And uh, get, my dad, he's always giving me, you know, words of wisdom. Everybody is, but. There's a mental ability to, you just, I think people who are successful in anything they do have a mental and physical and emotional ability to continue going. And nothing, you just have to just keep going. And eventually it's gonna hit, you know? And, and sometimes I think people have a, a vision of what they want their career to be and it, turn, it can turn out to be something different, something even better. I would love to be recognized for my songwriting and help other do, other people do that. Um, just surround myself with people that are better than me and be challenged. And I've been very lucky to have people come into my life who have taught me so many things about this business and about being a musician, um, what it takes. And I'm glad to have had the struggle. It's really necessary. It's a way to change the world. Yeah. It is, it really is. It's to get your message out there wherever you're doing. Yeah. My name is Jill Stevenson. Dot com. <laughs> and I hope you like my music. Sleeping.